Hi, welcome to Saturday Morning Makes, um, started by Jill Norwood. She started this, uh, and where you could, um, she needed some crafty time, so she wanted to share her makes on Saturday morning, and, and it was just an hour she took away from her day to, um, to focus on making things and creative time. So, and then, um, people joined in, so anybody can join in and share their makes that they make, um, through the week if you have time through the week or um, a lot of people don't have time through the weeks since they're working so they they set a t an hour hour aside on Saturday to to have some crafty fun time and and it's fun to see everybody's makes here so I'm going to share um, my latest makes and um, I need to clean off my desk it's pretty messy from from making things so um, and I haven't had time this week to clean it off. I actually think I made these last week. But I'm going to share them with you today before I put them away and clean off my desk. So let's get started. I um, made a stack of Christmas cards. And I used um, this Kaiser Craft collection I've had for a few years. Um, and it's called Peace and Joy. It's really cute um, paper pad um, collection and the um, collectible die die cuts here, like the pack of collectible die cuts that coordinates with it. So um, I like to take these collections and um, make cards with the little pads from Kaiser Craft with the coordinating die cuts and because in the back they have um, punch outs too so I will punch out all these punch outs set them all out and then um, do the the die cuts too and that gives you quite a bit of things to layer together and make cards with so um, it's a quick flip through of the pa papers. I have used some of them already, so they're not all here, but that's one that where you could like ink and the words would come out. Really cool. Resist, emboss, resist thing. And the one I like the best is this little gingerbread paper here. It's so cute. But there's just two sheets of that, but I think it's really cute. And then, um,. I also use this Tim Holtz um, this Tim Holtz uh, ideology and these Jolie's Boutique um, gems on one of the cards I think and these Forever in Time gem stickers, which actually are in like a row, and I cut them apart sometimes, or I use the whole row other times, so that's fun. And I also used this Merry Christmas die from Cottage Cuts. So let's get into the cards. Um, these are mini slimline size, so there's one, there's two, the paper has some glitter on it which is fun, there's the third one, there's the fourth one. Oh, and I also use some dies, mini slim, some mini dies that work as a mini slim line that I got at Hobby Lobby. I think these are in the stack over here. I might dig them out here in just a second. And, oh, and a, and a close to my, or not, and a Creative Memories border punch. This one goes like this. So. But yeah, I really enjoy this, really enjoy the, working with this mini slim line size. So these 
were really fun to make. Hope you enjoy seeing them. There's nine, nine more Christmas cards to add to my, my stack of Christmas cards to send out. And here's that. That corner punch I like to use with the hearts um, from Creative Memories. And here is that die I said I used on them from, I got from um, Hobby Lobby. It's from Momenta. Really nice die set that works perfect for mini slim lines. So, um, it says... I don't know, that's number 6582, but yeah, really nice die set there to use for many slim lines. So my mom reminded me to add something wonderful to your day, so I want to share that and, and um, pass it along to you. So add something wonderful to your day too, and we will check catch you next time on Saturday Morning Mix. Bye!